Oh yes, hello, I'm Dan Morrow, owner of the Gallery at Ten Oaks, coming to you with another installment of Life at the Gallery at Ten Oaks. And uh, we're, we're gearing up in party mode here for this weekend, but first, I've, I've been on this troubleshooting call. Uh, we have the world's first USB-powered Crokin. I'm not sure if that's catapulted us into a good future or not, but I'm on a support call with the Crokin support services here. I've been on hold. Uh, oh, yes, hello. Okay, thank you. Um, I have been on hold a while. Uh, yeah, uh, so I, I have your new USB powered Crokin and right now his light is only strobing off and on and just sort of a steady blinking. Yeah, it's just like a steady blinking. I've been, what I've been, I've been told that I can go in and I can change the pattern. We have a party this weekend and we're trying to get kind of a strobe effect going, going with it. I, I was told we, that you could log in and you could connect it to your computer and do that. Well. Why would reinstalling my printer driver make a difference? I, I, where do, how do I even do that? Okay, you go to the Crokin user interface. Okay, hang on. Hello? You put, you, yes, I can hold again. Hang on. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm still on hold. Let, in the meantime, let me show you some of the new stuff we've got at the gallery. Come with me. Tomorrow we have a whole batch of new art in the art in the gallery from a variety of our artists. First of all, straight from the Lavender Festival, Mary Wheel has brought in several new pieces. This one, for example, is Walnuts and Lavender, done in Mary's beautiful pastel style. Or how about this brand new Alice Pot in Green by the Donaldsons, Kelly and Pamela Donaldsons of Cross Creek Clay. The same folks who made my fantastic coffee cup, by the way. Doesn't this thing look like it could have just walked out of the Alice in Wonderland movie and has quite the uh, sassy attitude there? Oh, oh wait, maybe I'm back up. No, 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 I'm still on hold. Let's keep going. These big, beautiful new pieces by artist Hirofumi Glover. We have Opposition Man and The Weight, along with a number of new pieces from Hero. Those you'll get to see when you come in this weekend. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, yes, hello. Yeah, hang on. Yes, yes, okay, yes, are you still there? Okay, so I've got the brand new uh, US, world's first USB powered Crokin here, and he's just blinking in seat. The other person told you that, okay? Well, I'm trying to get more of a strobe effect for our party that we're having this weekend here at the gallery, and I was told, well, I was told I could log into the, uh, the Crokin software development kit in, what version do I have? Um, I'm okay. I'm in the, I'm in the Crokin user interface control panel here, and I have version 1.01 .01 of the Crokin application programming interface. Yeah. And you oh, I need to upgrade to version 1.03. Of course I and how long does that take to do? Okay. No, I haven't installed my printer driver. What did my printer driver have to do with it? it yeah, I'm, on, I'm on hold again. Uh, we will get this thing. Why, why do we want to get this going? Well, this is a big weekend. This is our third anniversary here at the Gallery at Ten Oaks. And tomorrow, we are celebrating that third anniversary. First, we kick the day off out at Bjornsson Vineyard from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Artist Gail Pedamonte will be out there with her oil painting demo. And in fact, her husband, Michael Pedamonte, might be along with her, and you get the two for the price of one. Go ask him about his bubbles while you're there, and you watch Gail do her painting demo. Then come into the gallery at 3 p.m. We will have our third anniversary party. So much new art to see in addition to what I just showed you. Many of our artists will be here. We will have live music by guitarist Richard Moore throughout the gallery, and we will have the beautiful catered food display from food artist Julia Hudspeth. And this weekend, you can also, by the time you see this video, listen to the radio interview between Nancy Morrow, owner of the Gallery at Ten Oaks, and Holly Wagner, owner of Mecca Gallery here in McMinnville, each with one of our artists on the radio interview with Joel Zach. So go to kmuz.org, listen to the deep, soothing voice of Joel Zach. And uh, for some reason, he's even lowered his standards so that our artist on the radio program yesterday was uh, 
Dan Homeris, but whatever, there are no standards in broadcasting anymore. So um, we will see you tomorrow for all of that activity. We're excited to have you come down and see all that's new at the gallery at Ten Oaks and have a fabulous party. And maybe you can help me troubleshoot this thing. Uh, yes, oh, yeah, you're back. Okay. Well, I've even brought in a recent graduate from uh, Crokin University here to troubleshoot this, and, and he's, he's as baffled as, as I am. No, it's, it's still just blinking in, in, in sequence. I, okay, no, I haven't downloaded that yet. I, I, I don't even know what those software drivers are. I, I'm not sure the world really needs this kind of technology. How is this making it better?